Starting the back nine here at Chardonnay. We are five under par. It's a 522 yard par five. So another par five, hard dog leg left. Um, basically gonna take it right over the corner here. Uh, shouldn't have anything more than a, a wedge in if I hit it decent. Kind of again, another lumpy tee box. Ah, uh, flared it. Not the best. But it's fine out there. It's just on the right side. That's 200 miles an hour ball speed. 3,400 spin, so low heel. <clears throat> All right, so like, like I said, this ball isn't, it's not really problematic or anything. It's just, it says I've got 200 yards of the flag, even though the 200 yard post is way back there by the camera, which makes me think, the pin is way in the back left corner. Some of these greens are pretty big. Um, but basically that flare just put me into a point where now I'm fighting for birdie rather than being, you know, basically with a draw, turning it up there like 20 yards. So 200 yards of the flag, I'm guessing like 170 to the center. I've got an eight iron and I'm just gonna kind of pretend I'm at a driving range and kind of smoke this thing right of the flag and see what we can do. Yeah, about 20 feet right. Looks like it's all the way back there. We'll see. Not the best swing. I'm not swinging the best. Yeah, so anybody can't, you can't see on the frame because I can't show everything, but it was a good shot. I got, I don't know, 20 feet again, but the green is humongous, um, extremely long. So like I said, I probably had 170-ish to the middle 175 and then 200 way way back here so another eagle putt i am surprised how many putts i have from middle to back of green that it's going downhill so it's another one that's a downhiller so just a gentle sort of lag putt that's it eh, got a little frisky it was a little quicker All right, another good birdie. So now we're six under. This is ridiculous. All right, hole 11. Somehow we're six under par. 409 yard par four. I'm just gonna flight this thing down. Uh, lots of room right, so I feel like I can miss right, but I'm gonna hit this low bullet. Not really try and kill it. Just keep it, keep it under the wind. Still give myself a lob wedge. I uh, pulled it, but because I hit driver, I think I'm over the bunker. Yeah, that should be great. Yeah. So like I thought, right in the middle of, well, right in the middle, flew everything that mattered that was gonna be troublesome. Got 53 yards right to a front pin. This thing is like asking for a birdie. Clean some grooves. All right, 53 yards. Let's dial this in. Go in, sit. Oh. Just crushed it. Well, I thought that was a good shot, but it was not. I got another 20 footer down the hill. Just another putt that, whatever, it might go in, but that would be luck. So I'm not even gonna mark it. It's just basically tap it, let it roll down the tier. And then just accept your fate. Take your par and go home. Ah, frustrated to blow that, but that's okay. So card said 209, I've got a seven. I feel like I should have brought a six. I'm basically thinking I'm trying to get this to the front edge of the green. No way I'm walking back up to the cart, um, but gonna hit this up the right edge, pins back left has to be, because I can't even see it. Um, and essentially just gonna try and rope this thing as low as possible. Yeah, kind of would expect. Just right at that right bunker. Should have got another club, but who cares? So this is way less than ideal. 
Um, must have flown this bunker, bounced right across the path. But I don't know if you can see the flag. Essentially, I have to keep it just left of the flag, but there's a branch hanging down <clears throat> right in that line. So I've got a pitching wedge. I'm going to try and keep it low and just left of the flag. If I can somehow land it in the rough, great. If not, and it goes a little bit long, that's fine. The goal is to not leave it in the bunker short or hit this tree. Little pitching wedge. Oh, Drew. Gosh darn it. All right, well, it's really not the end of the world. It's, it's whatever. It's just kind of, I don't like thinking of something and then doing the exact thing I didn't want to do. So, got a slope that moves down to the right. Let's just chip this thing. Sit. Almost hit my landing spot. Yeah. No spin, just rolled out. So people are gonna watch this and wonder why I'm going fast. Like I'm trying to beat dark, I'm trying to keep up with groups, I'm trying to get all of this in while managing the cameras and the launch monitor. So that's the reason for the hustle. Do the best we can to play as good as we can. Bro, I'm just turning this into a shit fest. Well, that's how you go from six under to four under real quick. That's frustrating, but it happens. Move on. <clears throat> okay, 418 yard holes. Let's get back after a terrible double. Um, kind of hitting at the cart path with a draw. <sighs> Come on, bud. Yeah, just left rough. Okay, so a little suboptimal. I'm a little worried. Eh, I'm a little worried about these wires. Not too much. Got 80, about 85 yards. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't worry. Okay, focus on the pin. Clean contact, 85 yards. Lob wedge. A little bit of go. Go. Stop spinning. It's not too bad. <laughs> Looks like another 20 footer. So I always think it's funny when you're playing well, these things, you know, like I'm kind of frustrated when I hit that, but like in all reality, coming off basically hard pan dirt with a little, little back of my mind that that wire was a problem. Like this is great, this is fine. Um, uphill right to left, 20 footer. 18 footer, you know, ball stayed in play. So when you're playing well, it's funny how your mind can get frustrated with stuff, but that was, that's all fine. You know, I walk away with a nice look at birdie and hopefully an easy par, if not a birdie. Uphill right to left the whole way, smooth stroke. Uh, who says, who says I can't putt? At some point people are going to realize I can putt. I just can't chip for shit. All right, so this is a fun challenge because it's 185 yards downhill into the wind. Typically, this would be a shot where I'd be like thinking six iron because I just spin it so much. But I'm going to try and like trust myself to hit the seven and really flight this thing really well. So again, the idea of that is to keep the feeling for me that my head's extended over the ball so that when I land pressure, I can push myself back and keep this arc really wide, really flat, and not so down and out of the ground really quickly. That's the goal. Um, that's the feel. And then instead of having the club kind of crash by me, the goal is to let it roll and stay very long and down through the shot. Keeps loft off, keeps ball speed up, as opposed to all this talk of like keeping the face open and kind of rolling the right hand underneath. Come on. All 
That's all over it. I think I might have flown it. Can't tell. Ball speed 140, spin 6200 with a 7, so really flighted it well. Uh, that might have been too far. This was hit so far over the flag, I almost could have hit, I don't know, unless it took a huge bounce, I could have hit like a 9 iron. So this is a new shot for me. If I was playing in a tournament, I'd be frustrated with myself. Playing for fun out here, I'm very happy that I've got that shot in my bag. Um, but I'm not used to this at all, obviously. So, little pitch. Oh, good. Trickle. I uh, can't tell, it might be like eight or 10 feet short. Well, I should have walked up and checked. I hit it, I thought it was all running away, but I hit it into a spot that was sloped towards me and it kind of just killed it. So, my fault for not taking my time, but again, we're trying to get this done. Uh, tricky par putt, longer than you'd like, downhill right to left. Just gonna trust this, nice smooth one. I go in. How's the par? I'm telling you. All right, so good par save. Par five here. <sighs> I think I can clear everything. Beautiful hole, and I know I can get in trouble left. So really, there's even like a tree out there that I think I can almost go towards, but I'm gonna hit left of that. And just hopefully I hit one solid enough. And it kind of healed it, but it's right dead straight. I think it's fine. Okay, so. Well, so overall, like I had no idea where I was going on this hole. I had, you know, driver, again, mini driver probably could have cleared everything. I had no idea. I've got 161 yards in. Looks like the pin's kind of in the front, I'm guessing. So I got a wedge. Again, it looks like the miss would be better off right. So trying to keep the body active, make sure everything has right miss involved. Not crazy pitching wedge from 160. Sit. God, it looks like that's deep. Yeah. Looks like it's like, 20 feet right, 30 feet long. I don't know. It looks long. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Shit. Oh, I don't want to drive back. Gosh darn it. I left my pitch mark. Golly. I love that thing. It's a swag pitch mark that's made out of the putter bumper. That sucks to lose that. God. Okay. So way closer than I expected. I thought the pin was more up there. I thought I was in the middle of the green. But this is sick. I got a, what, 12-footer, 15-footer for Eagle. It's great. It looks to be pretty darn straight down the hill. It may, it may have a tendency to kind of curve right, but I don't think much. Oh, I was right. That was dead straight. Gosh. Oh, another easy birdie. Lots of par fives are good. All right, so apologize for the angle. Um, downhill par three, 187. I got an eight iron. Um, there's just no room behind me to capture this. So got to go from there. Um, pins way in the back of the green. So the miss is short, 187. Got an eight iron, just flight this thing. Sit, ah, it's turning. It's gonna miss left, just sit soft. Yeah, it should be fine. Just miss left, wasn't a good strike. Getting tired. Okay, so, like I said, just miss left. Um, Landed, what, right here? I'm in a hurry, because carts need to be in like a half hour. Got two holes left. Setting up camera, setting up the quad. It's not easy. 
All right, take our par and let's go. No need for a putter. Cool. All right, off we go. So we're gonna have to apologize again for the angle. Um, it is a pretty long par four straight away with a little turn to the left. I wanna say it is 440, 450. I can't remember, but it's just a driver basically right over the camera with a little turn. Um, anything out there, doesn't matter how hard. You gotta hit it straight, it's fine. Can flare it right a little bit, so that's the miss. Just up the right center. Just into the right rough. Got about 130 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and smash a 55 this time. Kind of been going long a whole bunch. Um, 55 degrees, so 460 yard hole, 130-ish yards in. Got a 55 degree wedge. Probably gonna jump just a little bit out of this. Those are the shots I hate though, way too high. It's fine, it's gonna be a birdie putt, but like, to play good golf, that's not a good shot. So again, I'm just gonna leave the camera by the cart because I am on my hustle trying to make sure I'm not late for these cart guys. I feel like a dick. Again, when people ask me why I'm hurrying, trying to film this stuff and not be a jerk to people on the course, sometimes it's difficult. One, two, four, five, about 15 feet downhill right to left out of the fringe. Um, see what we get. Ah, dove. It's kind of crazy. These do roll. They roll out quite a bit. They don't look like it, but they do. All right, one more hole. See if we can get a birdie. It's another par five. Let's hurry up though. All right, just need one more active swing. Come on. 18th hole. Can't remember what I'm at. Just get your shit together. Right at that bushy tree on the right and just make a nice move at it. Nice and smooth, nothing crazy. Just keep it in play, finish strong. Whew. Yeah. Should be good. So 122 in, holes 473 is a par five technically. Um, definitely not a hole I should hit driver on. Should have looked at the par five. I'm literally in the smallest part of this fairway. And if I'd hit two iron, the fairway like doubles two and a half times the size. So smart, pins kind of middle back. Got a 55 again, but this time I'm gonna try and do better than last hole and flight it much, much lower. That's the goal. Oh yeah, much better. Just gonna miss a little right. No, it's good. Can't tell. If that's like eight feet or like 28 feet. Can't tell if it's short or like pin high. Okay, well, I appreciate it for anybody who's made it this far for sticking with me. Um, I know I run around and sometimes the shots are crap and the color's crap, but I'm doing this myself. All right, just roll this nicely. And if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see all this stuff I posted from my phone. So I was recording both, doing it myself. But thanks for sticking in for a, one of my better rounds of golf, maybe ever, considering everything I'm doing. That was a lot of fun on the spot. So, until uh, next time, hopefully, I can keep making these a little better.